Hi, we are going to talk about density. Uh, so density is mass over volume. Uh, it's how much matter you can fit per unit volume. Uh, the formula D equals M over V. And look how I wrote this. If you connect the M and the D, it looks like a little heart. So you can remember density equals love. Density equals love. A couple of conversions that will most likely help you when you're dealing with density. One mil equals one centimeter cubed. So we can really use those interchangeably. They're both units of volume and they're the same thing. One liter equals one decimeter cubed. Now I wanted to work a couple of examples for you and I'm going to do three so that you can see how to solve for density, mass, and volume, uh, one of each of these. Let's start with, you want to solve for density. Now always, and you'll see me do this the entire year, first thing you do is write down what you're given and identify what you want. Let's say that we are given um, a mass of 100 grams of air, and the volume of this air is 81.63 centimeters cubed. Um, we want to know density. That's the question mark. So once I have it written down, I identify, identify my formula, density equals mass over volume. You simply solve for the unknown. This one's nice. Density is already by itself. So we can go ahead and um, plug everything in. So we're going to have 100 grams divided by 81.63 centimeters cubed. Put that in your calculator and the density of air equals 1.225 grams per centimeter cubed. Little note on this. Notice the unit for density, grams over centimeter cubed, mass over volume, that is called a derived unit because we're combining the mass unit and actually three of the length units. So that's a derived unit. Okay, let's do another one. This time we're going to look for the volume. Okay. So let's say that we're given the density of iron. I'll put my little subscript Fe, the density of iron is 7.874 grams per centimeter cubed. And we're told that the mass is 2.00 grams. So I've got my three sig figs there. And we want to know what's the volume. Again, write our formula, identify the formula. Density equals love, mass over volume. And now we have to solve for volume. Um, so the best way um, to do these types of formula problems is to solve for your unknown. I'm going to get V by itself. I multiply both sides by V. We get DV equals M. And now we're going to divide by D to get the volume by itself. V equals M over D. Now let's plug in our numbers. We are going to have two grams divided by 7.874 grams per centimeter cubed. Ooh, look what happens to the units. Grams cancel, and because it's a fraction divided by a fraction, we're going to reciprocate that centimeter cubed, and it's going to go into the numerator. The answer on this, the volume will be 0.25 centimeters cubed. So that's how you can solve for volume. Let's do one more, just in case you are given a problem where you have to solve for the mass. Okay, in this one, we're going to use the density of water. So the density of water, this is being really nitpicky too, by the way, is 0.997 grams per mil. I'll let you in on a little secret um, for labs we round that up and say the density of water is one gram per mil. So if I have 50 mils of water, I say, great, I've got 50 grams of water. So like I said, I'm being kind of nitpicky here. So density of water, let's say that we have a volume of 200 mils. We'll make that three sig figs. Um, and we want to know mass. Let's write down our formula. I'll write it over here. Density equals mass over volume we're going to get the mass all by itself. So I multiply both sides by volume. Mass equals density times volume. Now we just plug and chug. I love plug and chug. So mass equals 0.997 grams per mil times 200 mils. Always, always include your units. 
um, in your math because the units will confirm you've done your math correctly. Mills cancel and we're left with grams, which is a unit for mass. Perfect. Um, multiply that and we are going to get 199.4 grams. So there are density formulas and examples for you. Thank you.